Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. And about 3.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time, there was a magnitude 6.5 near the Cruel Islands off the coast of what? Close to Japan, off the coast of Russia. Yeah, everything's just been rocking and rolling lately. Just a couple days ago, I reported a, another earthquake up over here. Yeah, those of you that follow me will remember that. And I talked about how um, the Trench of Japan and how back in 1952 there was a magnitude 9.0. That one created a loss of life with um, a tsunami. In 1927 there was a 7.0. Yeah, we're getting more and more earthquakes, aren't we? Three people said they felt this earthquake. Uh, intensity level of 6. Shake map intensity level of 5. And it was a thrust earthquake. You can see it right here how the fault moved. Going north um, east. Yeah, worst kind of earthquakes. I've talked about thrust earthquakes. You know, we got spreading here. No tsunami warning. I thought it was interesting, too. Off the coast of Petrolia, California, there was a magnitude 3.8. That would have been at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Six people said that they did feel it, um, only in intensity level 3, but they sent out a shake alert. Now, normally, they're only supposed to sh send out shake alerts when there's a magnitude 4.5 or greater. Once again, they were late in sending out the shake alerts, 17.8 seconds after the original time, and then final 21.5 seconds after the original time. Now, initially, maybe this is why. They thought it was originally a magnitude 4.4, and then they came up with a 4.3, but they finally decided that it was going to be a 3.8, yeah. So, I don't know, someone panicked. Let me go over here and, yeah, you know, the felt reports. We got Eureka, or where the shake alert, excuse me, shake alert was sent out to. Yeah, weird. Yeah, did someone panic? I don't know. Are they expecting something off the west coast of the U.S.? So, I went to seven days for the Cruel Islands. They're off the coast of, uh, well, this is Russia. I think Russia. I could be wrong. Let me bring it over. I'm going to be jumping around here. Um, let's see. 30 earthquakes within the last week, but I want to go over here. I want to go over here. Okay. And we'll have to change this to one day all earthquakes. There we go. Okay. So we got a 3.5 um, a 2.2, 3.8, and a 1.2, which, where's that one at? Oh, Clear Lake, I used to live up there. All right, going back to these earthquakes off the coast of the United States. Yeah, we haven't had, you know, we don't get them here like they do um, around the Ring of Fire like they do other places. And, you know, those have followed me. Um, where they closed down the shipping yards because of the threat of a large earthquake um, from the Cascadia subduction zone. Yeah, so I don't know. There's a lot of things that they don't tell us. And to send out a shake alert when it's supposed to be a 4.5. Um, yeah, for a 3.8. Yeah. Maybe a little jumpy. There's the location of that 3.8. Here's the felt reports. Let me zoom in to uh, your intensity level 2. Intensity level 2 for Eureka. And for Tuna, intensity level 3. That's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing autos rock slightly vibration like a passing truck um yeah what are your thoughts about this sending out a shake alert 
It's supposed to be 4.5 or greater that they send it out, but they send it out for this. Do you think someone panicked? Or do they feel that something's coming and they're not warning people? Or do they send out the shake alert trying to um, get people to prepare for a large earthquake that will be coming someday? Now that earthquake off the cruel islands there, yeah, Russia, it says Russia, intensity level 6. Let's see, do they have, who felt it? All the way over here. Okay, they do. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. It was 5 there and 6 there. Wow. So intensity level 6 would mean it was felt by many people. They got frightened and ran outdoors. There would have been damage, falling plaster, maybe chimneys collapsed. Small damage, it says. But then intensity level 5 says felt by most people. Some breakage of dishes. Windows also. Um, light damage, plaster, disturbance of tall objects. Things would have been um, thrown off shelves. But there's nothing that's been sent in to EMSC. I wish people would send in their reports to EMSC. We would get a better understanding of what they experienced. What kind of damage. So the question is, did you feel this earthquake um, off the coast of Eureka? That would have been at 11 p.m. late last night, Pacific Standard Time, or 1 a.m. where I am living at, Central Daylight Time. Yeah, interesting. So what are your thoughts? Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.